Portal. Now, this was released in 2007 as part of the Orange Box. And uh, that was a Halo thing. And, uh, well, not, not Halo, Half-Life. And it should be noted that Portal is set in the Half-Life universe. But it is, in essence, literally a puzzle game involving portals. And you, you play as Chell. She's never really named in the game. And there is a whole unwritten background to this. However, as you start this game, you already get a hint that GLaDOS, who is the operating system, well, uh, it's an acronym, I can't remember what it's all f for. Uh, something life form and disk operating system. But as you're introdu as uh, they are introducing and about to open portals, you get a slight hint that something is not fully right with GLaDOS. And you start the game literally solving puzzles, being given portals to traverse through until you eventually get the portal gun. And it's not fully upgraded. You only get to make one portal at a time. Once you get the second part of it, you really get to have fun because you can choose your exit points. And I think the portals are probably one of the most fun things they've ever created for a game because uh, of how they work. Conservation of momentum. You also have like special boots that allow you to survive any jump, any fall. But you use the portals to literally maneuver things around. Or change how things are flying. Need to get a electrified ball of energy into a receiver unit that's on the same wall that's being that the, be, the ball is shot out of by traveling a straight path. Well, boom, boom, you know, portal, portal, boom, boom. So you have to work your way around things. Barriers that will destroy certain objects. If you pass through the barrier, it will destroy the portals you've created. And sometimes you have to create a portal literally on the fly. You've jumped through the portal, you are now shooting up into the air and you need that portal over there and need a portal over there so you can fall through the portal and shoot over to a platform behind you. And it's the neatest damn thing, I swear. I, I you could have a ball mucking about trying to solve you got more fun trying to find the solutions to the puzzles. And, yeah, I actually, I, I did very little, I hardly looked any solutions up for this game. Because it was that much fun.
And sometimes you literally have to think outside the box. Now, of course, as you're working through the tests, you discover locations in which the, a character has been hiding. All we know is that they're known as the Rat Man. And this is your first, this is another hint that something is off with GLaDOS. Repeatedly being put, the cake is a lie. Well, when you reach that final test, whoo boy. You find out that GLaDOS, uh, well, well, glass is going to kill you. Drop you in a fire. The good thing is, is that the, the portal device won't burn up. Well, then, uh, you got to get out of that mess. And there is a way out. Using the portal gun. And then you are in the back, well, the background of the whole testing facility, the back rooms. So now you have to figure your way through that. And GLaDOS has determined that, well, GLaDOS knows that you are up to something now. And so she tries to bargain with you. And you are making your way through this facility. Through the back areas. And if you hadn't already figured it out, the portal does not work on every surface. Well, eventually you make your way all the way to GLaDOS's control center. And you get a feeling of what you see what GLaDOS looks like. Now, there are some people who have uh, theorized that GLaDOS's appearance is literally based off, uh, I suppose they think it's based off a, uh, a woman tied up hanging upside down. I suppose one can see that, but, you know, it's the kind of thing that you don't get, you don't really take notice to until somebody points it out to you, which is uh, kind of a, you know, weird thing to, to view a mechanized, computerized menace to you, but. Once you work your way, you know, get to her lair, you must now defeat her. Using portals. Now, GLaDOS is shooting uh, explosive blasts at you. Oh, and she's also flying the chamber with a neurotoxin, which is what she used on the rest of the facility. And so, um, as you uh, are, quote, trying to solve things, the, the plan is tricky. You have to use the blasts, well, redirect the blasts, hit GLaDOS, knocking free one of the 
personality nodes or uh, nodes that affect her thinking. You must then dump them into an incinerator. problem is, is that these nodes will go flying to all sorts of locations in the room so you must figure out how to get them how to open up the incinerator each time and get it into the incinerator before it closes it's not easy but it can be done and once you do that um, Chell literally escapes. She has survived. For now. Now the game, this, this little game was first designed not to have a sequel. It was uh, put in there sort of as a uh, little extra. Uh, but it became an independent hit all its own. And the beauty of it is, it's such a simple little story, but it so, gets so complex. And it's beautiful. Now you can, you know, they have uh, also have it set up that you can do certain tests for speed and certain tests for uh, with more challenge to them and that is a fun thing to do I've done a few of them myself but they did in uh, later updates release it uh, with a altered ending which sets things in motion for the next game and there's even a comic that they released with the next game that explains how it came to be however that's all I'm going to say about uh, Portal at this time I do recommend you go play it it's a fun game I think it should be experienced at least twice in your lifetime. Until next time, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Genex Elsewhere. Have fun all!